this video, I'll be showing you guys how to side load and set up side store on your iOS device so you can sign any app that you wish to side load, all without a computer. So just to side load side store, you will need a computer, but after that, to side load any apps, the use of a computer is not needed. Anyways, to download SideStore, all you need to do is open up SideStore.io on your computer, which will be in the link in the description. And then what you're going to do is on the website, you're just going to click on get started. And then you'll see a bunch of download links here. So what you're going to do is just click download on all of these here. If you guys already have iTunes and iCloud, just make sure that they are updated or you can re-download them here to get the latest update. Also, make sure that iCloud and iTunes are not downloaded from the Microsoft Store, which is why I recommend downloading it from here. So if you guys haven't already, just click on download iTunes, download iCloud, and then go through the process. And make sure you guys do sign in, especially into iCloud, because you'll get some issues with the uh, side store if you don't sign into iCloud. And I'm pretty sure you should sign in with iTunes as well. Anyways, once you guys have installed iTunes and iCloud, I'm just going to skip that because I already have those two installed. What you're going to do is you're just going to open up your files app. And once you guys have opened up your files app, what you're going to do is you're going to go on to alt installer. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on it and then click extract all click extract and then as you guys will see alt installer is in fact here and so once it obviously has been extracted just go to the extracted alt installer folder and what you're going to do is click on setup.exe and then it will say welcome to the alt server setup wizard and you're obviously just going to click next 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 and click yes on user account control and then it will say alt server is being installed once you've installed it, just make sure your iOS device is connected. So I'm just going to do that right now. And also make sure that your device has also trusted the computer as well. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to click on the little search icon right over here and type in alt server. Click on open. And now what you guys have to do is you're just going to click on this little upwards arrow over here that says show hidden icons you're going to click on that here you'll see a little gray diamond here there's two it's just because we clicked open over here so that's why there's two processes so it doesn't really matter which one you click but what you're going to do is you're going to hold shift and left click on it here and then you'll just see a bunch of different options here so you can sideload ipa enable jit check your updates and all of that so what we need to do is side load an IPA. So what you're going to do is click on sideload.ipa, click on your phone. And then we're just going to look for side store here, which is the IP that we downloaded. Just double click on that. And then it'll say, please enter in your Apple ID and password. And so make sure you guys do put that. If you guys want, you can use a burner Apple ID and password. It doesn't make a difference because it is only sent to Apple for authentication. So this is completely safe to do, but I would recommend using a burner email, which is what I'm going to do right now. And then you'll see a little icon in the bottom right saying installing size store to your iPhone. And it's going to take a few seconds. And so we will switch over to my phone once it has in fact side loaded. And now on your iPhone, you guys should see the side store app here. But if you guys were to click on it, it will show untrusted enterprise developer pop up. So what you would have to do is go into settings, general VPN and device management and make sure that you trust the certificate. I've already done that. So that means that if I were to just open up side store, it will in fact open up. You can click on allow here. It doesn't really matter. And then click on allow. It doesn't matter. And you get a pop up seeing pairing file select the pairing file or select help for help and so this is going to be our next step but what we're going to do is go back to the computer and on your computer what we have to do is open up the jitterbug pair dot exe here which is also called iDevice pair it used to be called jitterbug pair but now it's just called iDevice pair so you can just double click on here and you may get a Windows protected your PC pop up. Just click on more info here and then click on run anyways. And then you'll get another Windows Defender firewall pop up. 
but again just make sure that it is able to communicate on these networks which is private networks click allow access and so now that iDevice pair does have access what we have to do is click on right over here choose a device obviously click on your phone and then what we can do is it'll just give you a bunch of information here i'm just going to blur all of this information out and it makes sure it tells you if developer mode is enabled and everything is here and so what we have to do is generate a new pairing file so we have to just click on generate here and then once you click generate a new pairing file you'll get a notification on your phone asking to trust the computer so just trust that and then once you trust that it'll take a minute or two but it should work and sometimes it may not even show the pairing file so make sure you guys either click the refresh button over here or you can just close the iDevice pair and then reopen it again it does the same thing and now as you guys can see you can see a little document here and it'll say save to file and what we can do is we can just save this file to our computer and then it'll be saved as a plist file and we're just going to click on save and now that we have this we can just close iDevice pair we have to right click on this file over here and we're going to have to compress this into a zipped folder so you can quickly do this just by right clicking on it send to and then zip and as you guys can see it is now a zip and you guys can just name this whatever you want device on zip and now what we have to do is send that file right over to your iphone so you can send this through email which is what i recommend and i'll just do that and i'll move back to my iphone once i get it open and now on your iphone just make sure you guys have the file downloaded so you can just click on this icon on the bottom here and then click save to files and then obviously just click save here and now you're just going to go into your files app and then where it says iDevice.zip just tap on the file over here to extract it and then you guys should see your pairing file here. And so what we have to do now is open up side store and so just close side store and then reopen it and then you get the pop up pairing file select the pairing files click OK and then just click on browse and go all the way back here and you'll see your plist file here so you can just click on your plist file and yeah that's all we have to do with the pairing file so now we have to go into settings and then when you go into settings click on sign in and then sign in with your apple id this can be the same burner one and then you'll just get a little pop-up of how it works you can just click on got it it pretty much explains everything here but i'm just gonna go through that as well so click got it and then click on refresh later now to actually sideload things and refresh our apps without a computer all we need to do is just go into the app store and then in the app store we're gonna have to search up stars vpn and then it's the first one here click on get and once it has downloaded all you have to do is just click on open here and then you get a little setup page just click next 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 get started and what you're gonna do is just click on connect here it'll give you a pop-up so just click allow because you need to install the vpn configurations enter in your passcode here and once the vpn has been connected all you have to do is just go back into side store here and inside store, you're just gonna click on my apps and then obviously mine is already refreshed because i just got side store but what you're gonna have to do is just click on refresh all here and then it'll say refresh alt store so remember for the first time it is required to refresh side store so just click refresh now and then just click on keep app extensions and you'll see a little loading bar here and just wait for that to be done and side store will automatically close when it is done and it'll just load to so just wait for it to install and you'll see this little blue icon indicating that it has been installed so now you can just open up side store again click on my apps and what we can do now is just sideload any app that we want to sideload so you can just click on this plus icon here click on your downloads and find your ipa so i'm just going to use old os ipa so i'm just going to click on that here and make sure you guys vpn is on as you guys are doing this because it will not work without the vpn and just wait for the progress bar to load and just note that it does take quite some time but as you guys can see my old os has been sideloaded and it expires in seven days and so now if i scroll out i can just open up old os and then obviously it works just like it is intended to 
and you guys can turn off your vpn this vpn should only be active when you guys are refreshing your apps so make sure that you guys do turn this off when you guys aren't so if you guys go back into the side store and then click refresh it won't work you have to specifically make sure that the vpn is on but yeah that's basically how to download side store and the full guide i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching